All right, well, hello again, my friends, and welcome to Shenanigans. Three, two, and one. I am so happy you are here with me today. And guess what we have? Hints, hint, hint, another Timu haul. But wait, not just any Timu haul, no. The much anticipated and long awaited collaboration with one of my favorite people. My sister from another mister, the one and only Ashton's Beauty. So, uh, her and I have decided on a number, and I'll just put it out there. I don't think it's a big deal, but, uh, well, maybe I should. Um, should I? Shouldn't I? Decisions. Hmm. Yeah, no. Anyway, we decided on a number, and we have this collab for you. So um, I've been watching Ashton uh, for, for a while. And um, of course, I've spoken about this numerous times that she has inspired me to actually have a little more confidence and start this channel. So if you like what you're seeing, you can thank her. And with that being said, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. If you like me and my content, like, subscribe, share. Bear with me, I have been tongue-tied all day. So I just got back from a four-day trip, and uh, you might have seen the videos I posted this week of what a typical day is like, uh, about half a day. But the basics, you know, of what I do as a flight attendant. Um, the person I worked with is a new hire, and it goes without saying that requires a lot of patience, a lot of patience because they're learning. I mean, we all start somewhere, but some people get along better with others and she's a sweetheart, um, beautiful lady, but I was burned out after day two because it's kind of, you're taking the time to help them. And I am a team player, of course, but. It was draining. And uh, we had a short overnight last night. We had some issues with the shuttle. We missed the first shuttle, so we had to wait half an hour for the second one to come around. Minimum rest. So basically, the bags, and not this bag, but these bags, <laughs> you can thank that for uh, having maybe eight and a half hours of sleep in the last 48 hours. So right after I get this video out there, because we both wanted, we said, you know, let's get the video out there between Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm going to get to it. I have no idea what she picked up for me, but I trust her 100%. Again, I have been watching her from the beginning. Um, I think she knows me fairly well, and I have been stoked. So this arrived right before my trip, and let me tell you, I wanted to peek so bad. Um, but I, I, I believe there's two packages because... You know, I checked my orders that I'm still waiting on from Timu, and usually it'll say delivered, and I, I didn't have anything that I ordered delivered. So I'm assuming both of these bags are from her. So, again, I can't post prices because I just know what we agreed on overall on what we would spend for each other. Um, but let's see. So without further ado, once again, thank you for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to open the first package. I'm already going to thank Ashton in advance uh, for sending these. Hopefully, and this was a fun collaboration, I have another one coming up with Nona from Nona's here, Donna. Um, forgive me if I'm loud, but when I tell you, my ears are still really, really 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 clogged today in fact um i'm gonna have to go back to the doctors i have three days off and i have to go back and possibly get a stronger antibiotic for the bronchitis and strep throat i have but it's starting to hurt again when i swallow and my hearing's jacked and it's probably from the pressure it seemed okay on the plane but for some reason just today i don't know if it's from lack of sleep or sleep or whatever but um, let's see what's in here. So I just pulled this out. Again, there's no prices. I can't link descriptions because I don't know what it is. And again, this is your girl not even touching up makeup from 5 a.m. this morning. Actually, 4.45 I think I woke up. Yeah, I just, I let it go. I mean, it's the real deal. We're family, right? Right. 
So this is, ooh, oh my God. All right, what I tell you, she knows me because uh, I really, really got into the kick of my garden this year. And this is something that I actually, <laughs> how funny, I had in my cart, um, but I didn't get it because I had already reached my personalized spending thing. It's an LED. Um, LED, it's a solar, it's a mason jar. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I want to put these out tonight. Dang, I, the sun's already going down. Maybe yeah, I should pause it. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to show you this and then I want to run out. There's a little bit of sunlight out there still. Oh, but I don't want to rush through unraveling it. But it, it's like a fairy light. So it's got the, I had these in my car, and if it's the ones that I was looking at, I think this string inside the mason jar is supposed to light up almost like um, lightning bugs. We call them lightning bugs on the East Coast. At least that's what we did growing up. Let me know if you guys call them lightning bugs. I forget the other name that they call them out here. Fireflies. That's it. I've heard people in the South, whatever, out here in Utah, they, they call them fireflies. And I'm like, what is a firefly? And then I realize it's the same thing as a lightning bug. But yeah, if this is the one I think I was looking at, I um, it's just a mason jar. Is it glass? It is glass. And, um, oh, look, it's got the little fairy. I don't know if you can see the fairy wings. See the fairy on the inside? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh, how cute is that going to look in my garden? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, you know what? I have the shepherd hooks that I just ordered too. I got more coming in. Oh my gosh, this is going to look so good. Yeah, so um, she actually is the one that told me how I can um, record and flip the camera with this app. And I had a couple of you reach out to me that have started a channel asking me um, how to do it. Well, I just learned and there's two apps she told me about. One is called VLLO, all capital. And I have an Android and it works and that's for editing. And then um, the one that I'm recording on now is called Pause, P-A-U-S-E, Cam, C-A-M. So camera without the E-R-A. And um, that's what I did all the work flight attendant videos where you could see me flipping the camera and what a game changer that is and pausing. So yeah, so I just got the strings in here. I really want to see this tonight because I have no patience. So I'm going to run outside. Like I said, I might have, mm, gosh, maybe 35 minutes left of sunlight. Hopefully it's going to be enough to catch this. Let me see if there's a switch. Um, because the solar lights I had outside, yep, there's a switch. Let me put it on. The solar lights I had outside, I was like, oh, they're not working. And uh, Jay was like, um, yeah, they're not working because it does have a battery. It takes a AAA battery. But, oh, oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Hold up. It just blinked. Come on, please, please. Maybe it's supposed to blink. I don't know. But obviously, I'm going to do a nighttime thing of the garden. But I made sure the switch on the inside is on. It did have a battery in it. And it did light up for just a split second. Dang, damn it. There it goes. See, see, see. Oh, they're multicolored. There's blue, green, red. But it's only doing it when I push it in. So I don't know if it blinks, but I've got my finger holding the battery down. So maybe once it charges in the sun. I don't know what happened, but when I hold it down, it lights up. So I'm assuming... That's how it's going to be. I'll let you know if it blinks or not. Oh my gosh. I freaking love it. Definitely something I'd pick up for myself. So thank you, Ashton. I'll be right back. I'm actually going to pause this. I Again, I got to put it out. I just, I can't wait. So I'll be right back. Hopefully you don't got to restart it over and mess it up. Okay, friends, I'm back. So it does have a little manual in here. And uh, let's see if there's something on the box in case you're interested in it. And to be honest with you, I have three steps that lead up to the entry of the house and uh i'm debating right now i have it on a shepherd's hook in the front but i'm thinking of getting two more and putting them on the steps like just really cute accent piece so yeah it says um yeah 
manufacture Nanjing Dake Network Technology. Um, I don't know. Reach out to Ashton from Ashton's Beauty. Make sure you check out her channel anyway um, so you can see the things I got her. Um, I think she'll like them. I liked them. And, and when I uh, did this collab with her, um, really excited to do it because we were talking about it for a while. And then, you know, things just happen. And then I did the Cindy Reviews for You collab and um, then did a gift exchange with Courtney from our little gingerbread house. But... Yeah, I was really looking forward to this because I'm like, she's going to be so easy because I think her and I, you know, we just kind of vibe well together. But I think she's a lot like me. And most of the products I've seen her haul are things that I have already purchased, had in my cart, or we're going to get. Um, next product is Make a Wish and Open the Mollusk, Pick Up the Wish Pearl, Pull Out Necklace and Open the Pendant. Put the pendant in. It is ready to wear. Okay, I know what this is. Um, it's a love. It says love. Happy Valentine's Day. A wish. Uh, I can't read what that says. Even with glasses on. Oh, a wish. Wish to come true. So it's a pendant necklace. Oh, oh, wait. You and your very special pearl grace in the earliest Greek gods throughout ancient and medieval history. Pearl has been recognized as one of the most precious divine gifts. Indeed, it symbolizes mystery and mystique since the beginning of the human being's history. Because it is accepted universally as a symbol of honor, it may re represent a wish waiting to come true. Each pearl must remain within the shell until being opened by that very special person. Only then will it reveal its unique beauty. Various colors of pearls can be chosen. White for wisdom, cream for success, Peach for health, purple for wealth, black for love. So, I kind of saw this. And I don't know if I'm supposed to open it now. Let me see if there's instructions. But how cool. How cool is this? Oh, this is so cool. So, oh, man got like the little heart that it sets in oh my gosh i didn't even see these i think i seen somebody else haul them but i i didn't see them okay so this is looks like a white pearl what did i say the white one is health happiness love wisdom wealth make people make wishes while god create may your wish be granted so i guess there's something in there but there's something in here so I'm scared. I don't want to ruin it. It says each pearl must remain within the shell until being opened by that very special person. Only then will it reveal its unique beauty. Various colors can be chosen. So the one inside here is white, which is for wisdom. And actually, I don't know. I don't think Ashton knew this, but my name actually means wisdom. Shannon means wisdom. So that was perfect if that's what it's meant. So... Am I supposed to open this? Because it looks like there's a shell in there. I guess I make a wish and then open it. People make wishes while God creates hearts. May your wish be granted. Your wish will come true. And it says love pearl. And then on here it says please dispose of properly. All right. Do I open it? Let me make a wish. Hmm. Uh, only one. Can I wish for three more wishes? Let me think on this one. Good. Okay. I'm going to open the can. So it's like a pop lid. Oh, this is so cool. This is fun. I'm digging this already. I hope I'm supposed to open it. I don't have anything to take it out. Come on. All right. Oh, Lord. I scared myself. Okay, so here it is. I guess I open it. I'm going to open it. <laughs> Just get to it, woman. All right. So it's got like some kind of juice or something in it. That's okay. All right. Do I make my wish while I open it? wonder if it smells... Oh, it doesn't smell like the ocean. 
It's got some kind of like chemical thing in it. it smells kind of good to me. Almost like a nail polish type scent. I smell everything. I touch everything. Okay. Make sure I got my wish. Okay. I'm opening it. I'm going in. I got my razor. Obviously, you can't really see from back there. But I'm kind of scared. I'm scared, y'all. I don't know. It's going to take me an hour to get through this video just because I'm afraid to use the razor to open it. It's like I want to get um a knife because the razor is so thin. I'm afraid of it slipping. Maybe. You guys, am I supposed to be opening this? Okay, got it. I think I, think I got it. All right, I wish I may. I wish I might. Make a wish on this pearl tonight. Let's see. What color do you guys think it's going to be? Or is it supposed to be a color? Okay. Got my wish. In the name of Jesus, amen. Here we go. One, two. Oh, I'm going to cut myself on the shell. I think it's a real shell. Let's take it around the out like I'm shucking a oyster. Clam. Okay. Damn. Doesn't want to give me my wish, I guess. Come on. Ooh. Oh, Lord. It really is like an oyster. Look. I wonder if I can eat that. So here's the color I got. Let me get a tissue. Let me see. I'm colorblind. So that looks like a cream. Let me look at this again. Hold on, guys. I'm being, like, really cautious with this, so sorry if it's taking me a minute. I'll put it in there. I'm going to keep this for sure. Oh, is that peach? That's not purple. It's not black. It's not white. I think it's peach and it's for health. Did you know that? So Ashton, I'm gonna ask Jay when he comes home, but to me it's closest to peach, which is for health. Which as you guys know, literally, there's no way I could have known that, but I just told you how I have to go back to the doctor and hope I don't have to get my tonsils out because it's hurting when I swallow and don't know if I still have to, if he's gonna recommend because when I went in the hospital, he was like, oh, you know, we could take your tonsils out. They're pretty inflamed. I'm like, no, 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 no. So he's like, all right, we're going to give you antibiotics. But it still hurts. And it's a week later. Well, two weeks since I actually got sick. So I'm hoping I go in and maybe my wish will come true for health where I do not have to get my tonsils removed. Obviously, I am going to be putting this. I actually want to hold on to this, but I'm afraid... It doesn't smell fishy at all. I, You guys, I, I got to look this up and see if this is real because, I mean, tell me that does not look, you know, like a clam or an oyster. That's the inside. But how do they preserve it? They, they've got to put it in something where it doesn't smell like the ocean, you know? I mean, can you imagine that coming from China if they didn't put whatever they put in there? So... Obviously, y'all, I am putting this on the side right now, and then I am going to be putting it in the pendant. Oh, my gosh. And I got to, um, or does the pendant open? Or is that just, like, the gadget? Like, I don't know. There's no other instructions in there. I'm going to look it up. But maybe, um... All right, there it is, actually. Make a wish and open the mollusk. Pick up the wish pearl. Pull out necklace and open the pendant. So it does open. And then put the pendant. And it is easy to wear. All right, so yeah, it does go in here. Um, There's, like, clamps on there. But again, I don't want to break a nail. And I definitely don't want to break this because when I go to the doctors, I'm wearing it. And again, that one was for health. Thank you. I love that. That was actually really, really fun. Really cute. I like it. So I'm putting it in here. 
If you guys have this, let me know because I really don't want to throw it away. I'm thinking maybe if I put it in a Ziploc, like the shell itself, I can keep it. That was cute. Okay, all right. Um, and I'm I'm pretty sure all this is from Ashley because I think she said she had to send a second package, which I had to do the same for her. No way. If this is what I think it is, I just bought one. Oh, no. Ashton. It's broken. Yeah. I could take pictures and send it to you. And if you want, I can send it back and you can get your money back. But it's broken. It's chipped on the end. But that's okay. Um... I don't have to send it back. I can keep it. I, you know what? I can glue it. I've got some wood glue and you will never know. Yeah, I could do that or even my hot glue gun. And if it's in the back anyway, but it's, um, she knows I like wood and it's just like a bamboo. So, um, it's got the little peg on the back, which I didn't know. I think the one I got was a magnet, but see how it's supposed to go in like that. I'm just showing you so you could see Ashton. So that's where the hole is. And that's exactly where it broke but it's like a tree actually this is not what i got this is much larger than the one i got i think this is just like a little jewelry container this is perfect like when i come home i'm always losing my keys i don't like keys hanging up by the door and stuff i know it keeps things neat but i don't like the visual of like keys or coats or coat rack or umbrellas hanging. In fact, I don't even like the shoe rack out here. I had to paint it to match the shelf, but it's convenient. I get it. But this is perfect, so I don't lose my keys. But yeah, I think all I have to do is put some um, wood glue in there. And I, I think I have clamps. I can clamp it up. But if not, you already know, girl. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I want to put that safe. All right. Thank you. So that was three for three. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good. I don't know what she sent me, so I don't know how long this is going to take as far as the haul is. But I'm just going to grab something else out of here. Next product says Funny Unicorn Noble Qualities Kind and Pure. Look at that cute box. The box itself is really cute. Oh, that's cute. Definitely keeping that box. Girlfriend, it's a funny, noble, no, funny unicorn, noble quality, kind and pure. I know you guys can't really see me opening it. Oh, oh, look at this. How do I, you know what? I want, oh, uh, I guess Timo will show you things based on what your orders are because I've never seen this. Like I said, I think I recently saw, don't mind my nails, guys. I got to go tomorrow to get them done at the salon. But it has a bunch of stuff in here. Ooh, keychains. Love my keychains. I put them on the luggage tag. So it's a black and white kind of rubber ball beaded with the wood, which you know I love. It's got hearts on it. I'm just, I mean, it's got like this ring. Yeah, it's a keychain. But I love that. I just. This is nuts. Like, I swear she's reading my mind. I got the pearl for health. And I literally, before I opened it, said, I have to go to the doctors. There's no way. You saw me open that. There's no way I knew what color the pearl was going to be or what it represented. And I just said this trinket box would be perfect when I come home because I've got, let's see, can you see? You know, I've got my wood stands here and there. And I was like, how perfect, because I lose everything to just put the keys here and it's not, it's out of sight. You know what I mean? Like out of sight, but it, you can't see it. My key's just out. And lo and behold, the next box I open is what? <laughs> Keychains. <laughs> oh, there's another keychain. It's got the clamp. I like those hooks because these are such a pain in the butt. And this looks like, um, a bottle. Oh, I could put lotion in here. Sanitizer. Take it off the airplane. Pump some hand sanitizer in there, especially with us going on the cruise. This is a perfect size. You know, 
touching the handrails and everything that everybody, especially in the cruise lines, everybody gets sick. You've seen that in the news. So that's two keychains. I love it. Love it. Oh, look at this little fluffy thing. That's one of those. Oh, that's a uh, like one of those stress levers. So soft. Feels like um almost like rabbit fur. That is so soft. Gosh, how did I never see this on Timu? There's so much in here. Um, another keychain. To me, this looks like the emblem. Like I have a Toyota. So I'm assuming, oh, or you can put, like, I got that picture of me and Jay in there. Or if you want to just play in the bedroom. Bad, bad. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Or it could be a little feather duster. Just kidding. It's just a little tassel keychain. Ah. What is this? User manual. This personal alarm, mini alarm with alarm tone, mini alarm. Ooh. I, I think this is a um, like an emergency alert alarm. You know, if like you're in the parking lot, somebody comes at you. Let me see. LED light. Oh my gosh. How did they get all this stuff in one box? User manual. It's a personal alarm. Uh, mini alarm with keychain is an alarm unit with alarm tone and triggered when the plug is pulled off. Um, loud alarm signal. Do not expose your hearing to the sound for an extended period of time. Otherwise, severe hearing loss can be result. Wow. Not a toy and should not be handled by infants or small children. So it's battery operated. It says change the batteries. The battery compartment needs to be screwed open. Then change new battery. It has a built-in 3LR44 1.5 volt Acoline coin cell battery, which I have. Using the alarm is activated when the contact pin is pulled out. To silence the alarm, reinsert the contact pin into the device. I'm scared. Is, like, that the contact pin? Shall we see? Let's see. So I guess it's got, like, an LED. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Bright light. That's perfect. Especially if the light's out, like if I go somewhere and I can't get my key in the door. So it's got that LED. And this is a requirement as a flight attendant. If I ever got audited and they say, where's your flashlight? And I don't have one that works, I'm in trouble. This is amazing because I just got to find my keys and my keys are always on me. The reason we have to do that is if we have an emergency landing at night or we lose power for some reason in the aircraft and we have to deplane, we need a light. And this is a very bright light. I like it. So I pulled the pin out and I guess, um, yeah, cause I don't have the batteries in there now, but then I'm wondering why would that work if the battery doesn't work? But it does say to basic change the batteries. So the battery compartment needs to be screwed open and then change the new battery built in. So where do I unscrew it? Jeez. Oh! oh my God. I'm sorry. <sighs> You got me. You got me. Okay. So it's this thing right here. That is loud. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was horrible. But yeah, somebody comes up on me. And then you put it back in. Sorry if that bothered you guys. I had to test it out. Told you I was gonna, but I, I didn't think it was like that. That got me. You got me, Ashton. And then um, there's another keychain. Look, there are so many things. That, oh, this is like, um, so it's another key ring, but it's like a little wallet. And that is perfect because I don't carry a lot of cash on me. And I personally have like seven credit cards. I'm not talking like my Alta or Victoria's Secrets or I've got tons of gift cards. But like the cruise, this is perfect because I just want a little like purse or strap along and just take what I need. Need my driver's license? Boom. Need my, um, and I was looking, let's see if it'll fit. I'll just take like one of my credit cards, right? So, perfect. Perfect size. You're going somewhere, you're on the cruise, you need your cruise ship key card. You don't want to carry a bunch of stuff, especially if you're on an excursion or walking through the town. And again, we're going. Credit card fits perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I, Love, love this. How did I miss it? How did I miss it? And there's still more in here. Here's another one. This almost looks like it's for a lighter 
or chapstick. I think that's what I'm getting it, guys. Actually, I don't know how you found all this stuff, but I got to change my search up. So I'm thinking this is for like a chapstick, which I always have because, you know, being up and down in the air, the different air pressure. One day it's raining when I land in Chicago and then there's snow in Detroit and I'm in Palm Springs and it's sunny and hot. But, um, okay. So I'm just testing this out and I'll let you guys know if it will fit. It looks like something for a lighter for a smoker, which I told you guys I vape, but don't smoke anymore. And um, all this medication I'm on, especially the antibiotics, I didn't take them on a full stomach, so I get shaky. Um, there's got to be a way to do it, and I don't know how. Gosh, I can't believe I jumped like that. It's going to be funny to watch when I watch it back. So there's, I'm thinking it's for, you can see my fingers in there, and then it can come through the bottom. So there you go. You guys, perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. ID, check. Credit card, check. Alarm if somebody wants to mess with me, check. And there's more in here. Girl, you spoil me. I mean, I would seriously be happy with this. Oh, okay, you guys, turn the volume down because this is a whistle, keychain. So turn your volume down on the TV or mute it. On three, two, one, mute it so it doesn't disturb if you're watching this and somebody's sleeping in the house. I don't know how loud it's going to be. So three, two, one. That is loud. Comes with that. And then it has just another strappy keychain. And this, I think, is a bottle opener. Where is that one? It looks like a bottle opener to me. Have you guys seen this before? I've never seen this. What is this? So there's a little rubber knob. I'm wondering if this is the thing to break glass. You know, um, have you guys seen that? Like, I'm sure you have. If you're watching the YouTube, you know how the channels will pop up in between your shows or whatever. And it'll say you can break the glass if you're underwater or emergency break the glass in the car. I wonder if that's it. But it looks like a bottle opener to me. Like here and here, like a twist off cap, and even here, like the lift. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Sorry, guys. I kind of wish I didn't open this in front of you and I kept it to myself. And the reason being is because I got some hauls coming up. So if you guys have it, let me know in case we're doing a collaboration and you're watching this. Because this is something I think everybody, every, everybody should have. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love this alarm. Sorry, but we hike a lot too. And we have gotten lost on hikes. Um, Angels Landing, which is a huge, huge park. It's a national park. And uh, you get stuck out there between the whistle, the light, I mean this, the light, the whistle, the alarm. And then these are just fun, you know. These are probably going to be in my nightstand drawer, though. I'm not even playing in the bedroom. Ooh. Ooh, soft and I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is this is if you're doing a collaboration with someone, and hopefully they're not watching this either, so I don't spoil the surprise. But guess what? I don't care if I'm working on a collab with you going forward. Chances are you're going to get this because this is an absolutely amazing gift. I mean, you cannot go, it says funny, unicorn, noble qualities kind of here. You cannot go wrong with that. I mean, the packaging itself, I never, ever thought it was in there. I thought maybe it was magnets or cards or something, you know, inspirational cards. There's no way you can go wrong. Birthdays, anniversaries, mom, daughters, friends. Come on now. Perfect. What a find. Girl, impressed. All right. I have only gotten through a few products, but there's so many in here. You're spoiling me. Next pro oh my gosh, how cute. She got me slippers. Not ooh, these are cute. Heavy duty. And they're so bougie. Oh, these are cute. These would be cute for the cruise too. I love it. Look at how bougie. This is so Ashton. I think I've seen you wear stuff like this, Ashton. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So the soles are really 
thick rubber. It's not that cheapy cheap. And then really velvet soft. Really, really soft. And then look at that bouginess. I just want to put like my hair up in a little bow. And wear this with my fluffy pink robe. You know what? Courtney from our little gingerbread house. If you go back and look at our gift exchange. She got me this really fluffy pink robe. That's the same color as this. And a matching pajama set. And guess what? Now I have the slippers to complete it, guys. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, they are soft. Yeah, this is a Timu um, sweatsuit. One of the first things I ever bought from Timu. When I bought it, it was too tight. And now it's just right. Oh, these are soft. I love them. And you know what? I love purple, but I'm glad you got the pink. Because like I said, it'll go great with that pink robe. So bougie. Thank you. Next, something in here. Feels like clothes. It's t-shirt. Let's see. Oh no. Is it gonna be appropriate, Ashton? Oh my god. I love it. I freaking love it. I literally just got a t-shirt similar to this that I put the order in literally not even 12 hours ago. I did it last night. Oh yeah, I guess. 12 hours ago now, but oh my gosh. So I got to tell you about the one I got, but it's similar and I got it in a lighter gray, but look, badass. Oh my gosh. And this is not the spongy material. Oh, I love it. This is that really good cotton. I wouldn't be surprised if it was hundred percent cotton and I do like extra large. You know, I, I've noticed with Timu sometimes a large fit well. Like, I think this is a large, and this is an XL. But I don't like the T-shirts, especially in the summer, it gets sticky. I don't want them sticking to me in that excess poundage right there. Oh, my gosh, I love this. That is so me. Not, like, just saying I'm a badass, but I love I love it. It's simple. Like, she knows I'm, I'm simple in my taste, but what I really like about this, and... It's not like that cheap. It doesn't feel like the cheap iron-on either. It doesn't even feel like an iron-on. It's not. So the lettering is not that you got to worry about washing it, the iron coming off. But this right here, the little red bandana, like, like he's from the hood. <laughs> so what do they call that? You know, when they wear those colors, like the gangs and stuff? Badass. Oh, my gosh. No odor. <sighs> Love it. Oh my gosh. Got stuff for my cruise. It's so soft. That's got to be real cotton. There is so much in this bag. I'm like second guessing myself now. I'm like, oh, is she going to like what I got her? Did I get her as much as she got me? And she's obviously a better shopper than I am because the price we agreed on, like, it, I shouldn't have much more in the bag. I mean, that keychain set in itself is amazing. I mean, there's, I don't even know how many pieces were in there. Should I go back and count it out for you? Well, you guys already saw there was a lot, but just that alone, we got one, two, and I love that they're all different. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces. Yeah. And, you know, I am definitely going to take that wallet one, the chapstick. Like, I'm probably just going to rock them all on one. Maybe not the poofy ball, you know, because I want it to fit in the pocket, but, like, perfect. Like, obviously, if I'm the cruise, I don't need my keys, so I don't even need it for that. I, but for the ID, you know, the ship pass, you know, like a hotel room key, perfect, perfect. Even when I'm on my overnights at work and we're at the hotel, I need something to put the room key in. You know, because I'll lose it. And yeah, I could always get another one at the desk. But if I'm walking around exploring the city, as you see, I do. There you go. Oh, I got another. Is this a t-shirt? So, oh, Lord. So this is 100% polyester. And yeah, I got to tell you, the badass shirt is like a softer, but this isn't very spongy. But can I show this? She's trying to get rid of her competition and get rid of me. Not like I can hold a candle to her, but now I'm just playing. But look at the shirt. Oh my God. 
<laughs> is it is it is it a t-shirt or is it a nightgown? Oh no, it's a one XL. That's great. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a body like that. Isn't that great? Jay will like that. He's gonna like keep that shirt on, Shannon. <laughs> So then you can pretend that I look like that. Maybe once, maybe prior to having kids. That's kind of sexy. I mean, you guys, do you think that's... A, I mean, would you wear that out in public? Because uh, you already know I would. You should... I've ha I have t-shirts, and I refuse to get rid of them. And um, my son gave them to me. My oldest son, if you guys are on my Facebook, you might have seen some of the things he sends me that are just silly or kind of risque i'm surprised he hasn't been banned for life with some of the things he sends me but he bought me a couple t-shirts that say uh different things on them and jay would be like oh honey please please don't wear that t-shirt please like just some of the stuff that i don't even know if i could say here and um like some of them are really cute but he gets embarrassed by him i'm like chill out i don't care what other people think like i'm rocking this i like it and yes i will wear it but like one of the cuter, safer things I can tell you about a t-shirt that my son Nathan gave me. Um, it was a picture of Harriet Tubman and it just said, we out. And you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? It, it, it's not bad. I, I guess some people could be offended by it, but it's like modern day. You know what I mean? Like she's, we're out of here. It is what it is. That's history. That's what it was. It's not mocking or disrespectful. Girl, you sent me a lot of clothes. Oh, you know what? Obviously, you sent this order before you saw my last haul. And you probably saw my last haul and said, damn it, Shannon. Because I am I know you saw the last haul, so you must have had this order placed. But I think, knowing you and what you might have done, is seeing that when I ordered it, I got the wrong size. So here you go. And my last haul, and this is how well she knows me. So... I'm thinking she ordered this and then I came out with a haul and she didn't know that I ordered it and this was already on its way to me. Or, or what Ashton did is she saw me haul this and mentioned that I got the wrong size. It was too small because this is a size up, which is exactly what I needed. And I liked it so much. You know, I, I told you I have a bin. It's a pajama set. So I have a bin of stuff that doesn't fit that I just didn't feel I wanted to send back either I got a really good price for it and I'm like oh, I'm just going to re-gift it to somebody you know during the holidays or maybe someday I'll do a mystery instead of giving away because I can't keep giving a hundred dollars away every time I get a thousand subscribers because thank god I'm happy my subscribers are going up but if I did that I'm going to be broke and I wouldn't have any money to do the hauls because I'd be sending you guys the money just for being here and of course, I am grateful you are here. However, maybe what I'll do is what most other haulers I've seen, some of my friends on here, is they'll send like a $10 gift card or a $20 gift card, or they'll send you items they select from Timu for you. I'm going to switch it up because, yeah, I can't keep doing that $100. I mean, I'm already $200 out in like six weeks, $100. For the first thousand and then another hundred. Yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. But, uh, yeah, by the way, all of my winners did claim their prizes. I think. But, yeah, like, I bet you she got me the, yeah, she got me, uh, exactly. So, the one I got was a large. And I'm thinking, Ashton, let me know. I'm going to text you after this video. I think what you did is you saw that I really liked it and I was disappointed because... The top was too short, you know, and even though nobody's going to see me in this, but Jay, you know, the, the top of it was too short, so I needed to size up. So this is perfect. Perfect. Obviously, again, if you saw it, you know I like it, or you just had a lucky guess. And not only got me something I had already picked out for myself, but the right size that I actually needed and not that I initially ordered. So I love it, obviously, because I had already hauled it before this arrived. See, now I'm probably going to have to pause this. All right, I'm going to show you this. And it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to make it up. But I think I showed it in a previous haul like a while ago. Dish towels. I love putting out the dish towels 
I, I think um, even if you don't decorate, say, 4th of July, get yourself, especially in team of great prices, just some dish towels to go with your decor, like 4th of July, fireworks, whatever, and guess what? Your kitchen is decorated for the holidays. But here's the thing, and again, go back to some of my tours. Like I, I did a home tour where I showed you my house and my decorations. When it's not a holiday and I don't have like Easter stuff or Christmas stuff or fall stuff out, my kitchen is black and white and it's like a retro, a modern retro, if that makes sense. It's like the vintage, but that is funny what it says. So actually I am going to pause this video and show you the one I have hanging up on my oven right now. So you can see the humor. If you've been with me for a little while, you know I, I, I've got a very sarcastic, sick sense of humor. I get I'm not for everybody. Some people might consider it foul. I don't have company over, and it makes me giggle. It makes me happy. I love it. So hold on. I am going to pause this and be back and show you the one I have in my kitchen right now. Be back in two and two. You know what? I'm going to leave the camera running so you can see how quick it is. Um, you're going to blank space behind me. But when in doubt, pull it out. Love it. Let me show you. I'll be right back. Yep. So again, my kitchen uh, is black and white right now with um, accent red. So black and white, like the kitchen mat um, in front of the sink and in front of the stove, pot holders. Here we go. So these are ones that I got for myself. Okay. So you see this one she got me, not only is it the black and white, but it's just that witty, chop it like it's hot, chop it like it's hot. You guys know the song, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Some of you won't get it, but yeah, so perfect, 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 perfect. All right, this is kind of big and I think it's stuck to the bag. Next is all my diabetes shoes. I'll let you see it. There goes my hearing. Oh my gosh, I love doing these collabs. It's so much fun. Ooh, this is a different material. What material is this? All right, so she knows I am on the Ozempic. That's how I know she watches my stuff. So I do have the shots. Um, you know, a lot of people are on the insulin, but yes, I have to give myself injections. And yes, I did the Ozempic for the weight loss. It's actually an LMS compound. Still $400 a month. Insurance doesn't cover it. Crazy expensive. But... Um, I'm also on metformin, but this is great for my blood pressure medication, everything. Again, for the cruise, this almost feels like it's waterproof, which is genius because the LMS compound in it, it is, it's got to be. You know why? Because I have a bag like this that just says all my drugs, obviously pharmacy drugs, y'all. But this material feels like it's waterproof and the LMS compound has to be frozen. And then you take it out and you thaw it for 30 minutes and then you do the injection. And because it's like, I guess they freeze it because it's live. I don't know. I don't know. But you got to freeze the medication, let it thaw out, inject, put it back in the freezer. And this, obviously traveling, right? If you guys don't know this, I, in the last video, um, like if it's 3.4 ounces or is it 4.3 for TSA. Anyway, I'm exempt as a flight attendant. But... If you want to bring a bottled water and they say you got to empty that out, have it frozen. Put water in there, throws it in the freezer as long as it is rock solid. If it's frozen, you can bring it through. A lot of people don't know that even if it's this big and the requirements are that for liquids, but frozen. Yeah, little trick. But this is perfect because it feels like it's waterproof and that would work for the injections. She's so smart. All right, um, got another box here. Man, you found some good stuff. I'm just going to start sending Ashton money. And I'm going to say, all right, girl, go shopping for me and get me some stuff. Pick it out. Like, I trust her that much that she could just know what I like. So it's got this really pretty purple little lacy bag. I love these little mesh bags. They're great for gift giving. Ooh, there's something in there. There's like these little thingamajigs in here. What is this? They've got these um, kind of like little crystals in here. I hope it didn't break, 
but let me just hold you up a little. Almost looks like, can you see that they're clear? I don't know how else to show you, but, oh, I'm gonna lose it. I don't know if it's a part of something, but there's a bunch of them, see, in the back. They look like little pieces of glass, but it's not glass. I hope something didn't break. What is this? No, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way to guess it came, but these are cards. That's my girl, guys. I told you, my sister from another mister. If this offends you, I am sorry. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> Funny menopause man, this has her angel cards and I have this. These are great. And I've, I've seen other haulers do it. I've never personally hauled them. Yeah, this is what's up, girl. I love these little inspirational. Yeah, these are great. I love just the idea of this, you know. <laughs> Oh, see now, I love this. This is great. Just when you need a little pick-me-up or to remind yourself who you are. And that is right. That is what is up. So again, if I'm offending you, sorry, but you know what? She gets me and this is the real deal. And I think that's why her and I, that's what's up. And um, her and I get along and just clicked instantly. I don't know if it's just a Pennsylvania thing. Um, obviously I'm a lot older than her, <laughs> not old enough to be your mom. I could just be her big sister, but it's not even that kind of vibe with her. You know, she just talks like I talk. I think what you see is what you get. You know, she, um, she's just a cutie pie, you know, but she's the vibe I get is she's a tough cur cookie. You know, and I think this is just our personalities are so similar. And I have a lot in common with a lot of uh, the other friends I've made here. But, you know, truth be told, that's how we talk. You know what I mean? Like, I remember when she was telling people about my channel, she was like, oh, you know, go check out Shenanigans 321. Um, just going to let you guys know she curses. Yeah, I curse. I'm trying to be better. Now that I'm considered, I think, I don't know, as an affiliate, an influencer, I don't know the difference. I guess I was told there is a difference. Anyway, these are really cute. A bunch of cards to remind you who you are. Anyway, so I'm trying to be a little bit more um, controlling my language. I mean, I'm working on that at work anyway, because I know it can be offensive to even my coworkers. I am forever going to say shit, you know, like I curse. That's just who I am. I'm trying to control it. A little bit more. I mean, I have to around the kids, but it's who I am. That's how I talk. That's what I'm about. Sometimes it just feels good just to say the whole, you get it, you know. Here's a card. What's it say? Is this going to be appropriate? Don't care. It's appropriate for me. Anyway, you guys are here. I don't want to break the card. It's a Stevie Wonder on it. And you know how the cards have the back, y'all. I just want to keep it in the plastic. Nope. Oh, I'm going to open it just a little bit. And obviously, it's as if she's sending me a card. You know, it's obviously coming from Tima, so she didn't sign it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so... <laughs> So this is what I'm talking about right here. This is just our sense of humor. Because, you know, I just had a birthday. <laughs> See, like, I guess some people would be offended by that. But to me, it's just funny. It's, it's funny. Come on, guys. It's like, maybe I've got, like, my... <laughs> one of my... <laughs> Sorry, one of my favorite shows is... um. Saturday Night Live, you know, and this to me is, let's just, I guess that's a good way I can say it with uh, her and I, I want to keep this out, I love it, thank you so much, but it's um, SNL comedy, that's, that's a good way to describe my channel anyway, SNL, 
You know, sometimes they're not always politically cor correct, but I really don't feel that they're disrespectful. You know, I'm not down with that, but that's great. Thank you. Another box. Gosh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was. I ain't complaining because I am enjoying myself. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Oh, it's got styrofoam. Hydrate. Mm. I think I mentioned in um, some of my previous videos, I can't, like the Starlight, Star Bright, Show Off Her Peace, Mimi's Life. These are people I've been um, working with, talking about wanting to do a collab with soon. But I have like four other people. I just did, uh, as you can see, Ashton now. I got Nona's here coming up. I'm going to be backed up probably to summer. I got to pull back the reins. Um, I mean, I could just do collabs all the time, but I, I can't. I've got a lot of people backed up. So it's this box, little styrofoam thing. I think it's a cup. Which, you guys have never seen me haul, so she knows probably I don't have one. Hey! Oh, it's got a straw. Ooh, it's got the wood top. You know, I like that. I've seen people haul similar to these. Ooh, this is great. Ooh, it would be a great wine bottle. Actually, um, I've been doing pretty good. When I used to do my hauls, I always had, like, you know, a glass of wine with me. And, I don't know, just haven't been feeling like drinking. But it's got the straw. My vision is really messed up today. I think uh, I'm going to have to check my sugar levels. So it's got that way. Nope, it goes the other way. Okay. That's kind of cool that it's got like a silicone type gripper in there. And obviously the lid comes off. All right? This would be great for a cocktail out by the pool. It's real glass. And it says chaos coordinator, someone who solves problems you never knew existed in ways that will blow your mind. See also ninja rock star legend. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I don't have one. I don't. I have just my uh, mugs and plastic Walmart tumblers. Oh, that's special. That's bougie. Probably should have washed it first. Ooh, I love it. And it's got a really good grip on the top. I love it! I gotta go through all my pictures because as you guys know I put filters on my pictures most of them not all of them but I, I I like my filters on the pictures I'll go to snapchat and I'll take some of the pictures and I don't know it's fun to me and uh, I feel better about myself <laughs> in a filtered picture go figure you know obviously I'm not filtering this video but I need to create more because when I do um, these videos you know, it'll, when you go to post, it'll show a picture of you. And usually I'm, you know, like I look like Jabba the Hutt dying or something. I, I'm like smiling for the camera, but my thumbnail that they pick out to post with the video is like. So it's like, yeah, I'm going to go and have my gallery set up in my phone of pictures where I'm like. Where I look cute as can be. As I can possibly try. All right, next product. Sorry, I'm very talkative. Watermelon Double Hole Refreshing Energy Bar. She knows. She knows I've hauled these, and they only last so long. And I actually am down to my last two, and I think I had seven a few months ago. If you guys aren't familiar with these, I know a lot of you have admitted me on the down low that you vape too. Shh, I'm not going to name drop. I won't say who you are, but a lot of you actually vape, which I didn't know. Whether you're in the States or other countries, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Wales, Ireland. I'm not the only one that vapes. And as you probably have noticed, I'm not even vaping. Now that I mentioned it, I'm going to hit it. But I haven't even been vaping that much. I think just getting over the sickness, the desire to do anything is out there. But these are great. Now this is one I don't have, a watermelon. I had like the mint, um, I had a citrus, I think I even got the menthol. There was a bunch of them. I, I wanna say there was a chocolate, but, so it's got these two, obviously one for each nostril. Ooh. And it's like a Vips, Vix, you know, the people my age, I'm 52 guys. But you know, when our when I was younger and I was sick, my mom would rub that greasy Vicks all over me. It was like petroleum jelly. And I have a friend in New York. I sent her a bunch of these because she used to have the stick and she would just go like this to put herself to sleep. We grew up together. 
We were in a group home together. We didn't grow up together. We were in a group home together for about a year and a half when I was 12. That's uh, part of my testimony. I'm not getting into that, but she used to have this Vic stick just for the one nostril years and years ago. Again, I'm 52. I was 12. And uh, it didn't have any juice in it. It had no smell in it, but it was kind of like the hand to mouth smoking. It soothed her. And so I sent her a bunch of these. But this one I like. It is watermelon. And right away I got the watermelon. But it's got like the after mentholatum. Great in the winter. Obviously if you're stuffed up. Sinuses. There's some that um, are energizing. I think they're all energizing. But they literally say like energy bar. I did not have the watermelon. So either you got a lucky pick on that. Or you just knew. And of course I had to mention vaping. So people ask which ones I'm using. This is an Evo bar. It's probably the most popular one I get. Um. It is 0% um, nicotine. See the zero at the bottom? And this one is blue slushy. Honest to God, I didn't. I've hauled these before and I needed them. And I keep telling myself, like, I just ordered the lanyards to hold your glasses so I don't have to keep doing that. Although I'd probably still do it just because it's a habit to pull the hair out of my eyes. But I got the ones where you can hang from Timu. I'm waiting for those to come in. And I keep forgetting to get these makeup sponges. And, of course, you got my favorite color, the purple. But I am struggling to open. Oh, there it is. These have a snap on them. The ones I got didn't have a snap. Oh, these are bougie. These are fancy pants. And I am so afraid of breaking a nail. Because, I yes, I'm going tomorrow, but they're fragile. Why can't I open this? Is there a seal? Struggling today. I really got to check my sugar levels. I'm like shaking. Anyway, you get it. They're makeup sponges, you guys. Set of four. They're beauty blenders. Why? You know what? You guys, is this like, am I being punked? Pranked? Because it's like, if you look at it, the lid kind of looks like it's smashed into the case. But I think that's the way it is. That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. All right. Yeah, maybe there's... Pla I, I'm not going to break my nails off doing it. But yeah, four makeup sponges. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Again, I want to leave the camera rolling to show you. But you're just going to have to take my word for it. I have this in black. I have this in pink. I have it in white. I did not have it in red. Mm -hmm. And I love these. She probably saw me rocking them in the halls. Some of my prior hauls. Especially, I don't know, like with sweatpants. And I, I mentioned, uh, I believe when I did the video on Friday, that I'm going to start hitting the gym again this week. And these are great because, like, I sweat a lot. But they have the wires at the top. I mean, even if you're just going to do your makeup and pull it back. But I love the red and white. And I do have, have been getting into bolder colors. Normally I'd wear browns, black, of course, all the time. But I'm starting, um, just like you might have seen April from Menopause Amanda. She like wore this yellow shirt. looked fantastic on her. She even wore pink. And I'm like, oh, girl, I'm so used to seeing you. Black and dark colors it looks good. But I'm starting to get into bolder colors instead of the softer, like, this color. So I love it. Love it. In fact, now I'm going to have to get another shirt to go with it. I think I might have one. Gosh, how much stuff? There's still so much stuff in here. All right, this is uh, Love It. I didn't have this one. She probably have seen in the past in some of my hauls I've gotten coins where you flip the coin and one says yes, one says no. So I'll say, okay, um, you know, you uh, the coin might... Yes or no? Like, his choice, her choice. So he'd fl I'd say, he'd, Jay would say, where do you want to go for dinner? And I'll say, uh, I want Red Lobster. And he'll say, I want Mexican. So uh, basically, you flip the coin. It says his choice, her choice. But this is like a dice. And what does it say? I mean, look. Burgers, American, barbecue, Japanese, Mexican steakhouse. That's what I'm about. Thai food. Sushi, 
We're both not really big on the sushi. I love seafood. Seafood's on there. Pizza, that's his. The pizza and burgers are him all day, as is the American and Chinese, where I'm more the Italian, Thai, and I love it. So you roll the dice. You can't decide where you're going to be on date night. Obviously, she pays attention because I didn't have the dice. How cool is that? Well, of course, it landed on burgers. All right, Jay. Can't decide. I don't know what I want for dinner. What do you want? I don't know. You pick. No, what do you want? Fell on the floor. Seafood. Let's see what it is. I don't know. Oh, there was something else in there. Dang, girl. You had to definitely go over what we agreed on. Hmm. Promise, Ashton. Promise. Got me a ring. Got a ring. Ooh. Oh, Lord, this is cool. I've never seen this either. Check this out. Have you guys ever... Oh, my God. You guys, have you ever seen this? Check it out. Watch. Dude, it's like a fidget spinner, but it's a ring. But wait, wait for it. It's a shamrock. Oh my gosh. Dude, how fun is that? Look. That is so cool. Dude, that is so cool. And I hate to say it, but that's even good for the kids on the plane. Like, look, spin it. Look, watch. Right? I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There is so much stuff in here. Another card. Oh. Hmm. Ashton. Couldn't have said it any better myself, girl. When I first met you, I was like, oh, well, this person is going to be effing awesome. And you were. And now we're friends. And that is neat. And I don't want to give away something that I sent her. And I hope to God it was in the package. And I think that's why she sent the two. Because I had to send her out a second one later. It was like two weeks later because I sent her a package out and I got sick and then I went to work. And then I look at my order that came in and I'm like, why do I have this cat mat for a litter box when I don't have any cats? And then I looked and there was another item in there and it was supposed to go with her order. But for some reason I didn't link. So I think what happened is I ordered for her for this collaboration and then I went and placed my own order and somehow you know when I set the default addresses from hers to mine somehow it didn't connect so I sent her out a, new, a second package so uh, just be prepared for that if she does the collaboration with me she'll probably do the first pack I'm assuming um, she's going to do the first package she already received. And if she hasn't received the second portion, which I don't think she's going to get for another week or so, you know, it takes two to three weeks for these packages to arrive, then I'm assuming maybe she'll throw it into one of her hauls and say, hey, I didn't order this. This is other stuff I got from Shannon that wasn't included in the collab. Again, make sure you check out my girl Ashton's Beauty. I, I would trust her to shop for me. Like, seriously. Like, I would tell my family, if they're like, oh, I don't know what to get you for your birthday or Christmas. You know what? Just, here's Ashton's number. Give her a call. She'll tell you. I, okay. So, I don't have I uh, one of these long spoons. It's a longer teaspoon. I love it. It says, I wish I lived next door to you. And this is good for, like, milkshake or getting stuff out of a... That's great. Damn, I didn't even know they had the longer spoons. Because I get down with some ice cream. It's probably... Oh, it's definitely in the top four of my favorite snacks. I, I'm weird. I like pork, like, cracklings. Not the rinds. I'm not crazy about pork rinds. They're too dry. But pork cracklings, <laughs> where they're real hard and crunchy and a little bit soft in the middle. I go to the Mexican store over here or you know, the Spanish market to get it. But it says, I wish I lived next door. And this is perfect. I wish you lived next door to me too, boo. I'm going to be like, thank you, thank you, I love it. Every item, I honestly, 
of course I want to say I don't like that. But uh yeah. I'm telling you. Are we down to the last one? So for some reason the tape stuck to this. And I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because it's not already enough. And yeah, where are we at for time? There's no way it's an hour ten minutes. No. I hope to God it was recording this whole time. There's no way this was an hour. Was it an hour? All right, girl, I hope your video is probably going to be over in 10 minutes. Because, I I mean, I know we agreed on the price and, and I know you followed it. I don't know how. I don't know how you were able to. Because you got me, I feel like you've got me so much more than what I've gotten you. And now I'm starting to kind of second guess if you're going to like what I got you. I hope you do. Anyway, um, there's, I think it's a necklace. Take it out and I'll show you before I get to the last product. And, uh, oh, come on. Come on. She really does watch my channel. Because you know what? I Look, I'm just going to call it right through the bullshit. Um, there's some people... That, you know, some people are not for everyone. Like, I'm not really into crafting, but I like watching other people's work. But there's some, I, there's a lot of haulers out there, okay? And, you know, to each their own, we experiment. But there's some people that I, they'll have like a two-hour video, and I might watch 20 minutes or half hour of it and not the whole thing. But she has to be watching like every single one of my hauls. You guys, I thought it was a necklace. Again, there is no way. Do you see? You see what I'm talking about? Like, that is my girl. All right? That's my girl. That is my Timu bestie. I'm calling dibs on her. I will fight you for her. I'm just playing, guys. I love you all. But look, is that shamrocks? So, I, I, it's got these really pretty designs. And, number one, I have been stating I've been getting into the gold, right? This is way nicer. Look what it is, guys. It's an eyeglass holder. Insane. I literally just said I placed an order. I haven't received them yet, but the ones I got were really cheap. Like, just rubbery plastic. So I got like four or five of them. Just because they were stupid cheap. But this is, this is stuff that will go great with my uniform. You know? I don't want to really wear silicone and rubber, but... I just got them on a whim and not real quick. Look. Oh. Oh my, oh my, oh my. You listen. Tells you. Tell you. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Last but not least. All right. And for this, I almost want to take you guys out front of my porch so you can see. I don't think she's ever seen my front porch. I mean, have you guys seen my front porch? I don't think I've ever shown my front porch. But I have to now. And there's a reason. Because when you just get somebody, like if she shopped for me for this collaboration the way I did for her, I just, again, for the umpteenth time, picked out stuff I would like. And this goes with my front porch. And I need one. I'm going to show you why. Because the landscapers tore the rubber off my lot. What's it say, though? Is it going to be inappropriate? I live in a Mormon community. They come and knock on my door. It'll scare them away. Don't stop. Oh, my God. I get it. All right. I got it. Don't stop. Be leaving. Not, don't stop believing. It says, be leaving. Not B-E-L, you know, B-I-E-V-E. -E. But it says, don't stop, be leaving. So in other words, don't let... So you've probably heard me in some of my hauls. Again, those who have been with me for a long haul, a long time, as she has. I'm When when people like to be nasty trolls in the comments, and they want to make stupid-ass comments, um, I was always one to bark back. It's just who I am. Sorry. You know, second oldest of eight, uh, five brothers is how I was raised. I, I fight back. I had to at a very young age. I grew up in a tough neighborhood. I, I was a minority in my neighborhood. So guess what? I clap back, as hey, everybody says. And I always say, 
You have a choice to be here. If you don't like me, don't let the door hit you into the JJ on the way out. That's why I am. So, ah! see how, you know, believe is not spelled like that. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E. It says, don't stop believing. So perfect. But now I have to show you the mat I have in front of my door now. Ready? No. I, Ashton and Matt. My, my doormat is what I meant. Not my mat. I meant my doormat. There you go. That is my doormat. See it with the black and the burlap? And you see down there at the base, sorry, the light uh, isn't working out there as much as I want it to. But uh, they tore that one up on the bottom. So that is going there. It's good uh, material, too. It's not real flimsy and cheap. And hopefully it didn't make you guys too, too dizzy. So, <sighs> where am I looking? Thank you again for being here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this collaboration with Ashton's Beauty as much as I have. I am beyond thrilled. Thrilled. Like, honestly, yeah, the cards were a really nice touch. I should probably put this down. All right. Sorry, guys. The cards were so sweet. And uh, just how you, you'll see. Be sure you watch her collaboration and you'll guys see with a little smirk, like the spoon in itself. You'll see. You'll see. Um, and obviously, when my other packages come in, you'll see that, um, yeah, I ordered, for instance, that this. But I got, I think, a smaller size. So I think the one I got had a magnet on it. So it wasn't like that with a twist, which I like. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. This was so much fun. I really, really do like doing these collabs, but I am backed up. I've got a lot going on. Um, just a heads up. I'm going to try to get on here and do hauls as I can. Even if the package is calm, it might be a little while before I can do the next one. Um, I've got CQ training. I have to go away for three days. Um, that's in Denver. Um, and that's to get my license renewed every year as a flight attendant. You have to go through the federal, you know, the FAA to get your license current. So I have to do that. And basically I have a whole year of new training. And I've been a bad girl because we get bulletins and stuff at work. And a lot of times I'll just kind of skim read and dismiss them. Oh, I'll go back to it. And then I forget and more bulletins come back and somebody say, oh, yeah, no, they changed the policy on this with this. And I'm like, Ugh. so, yeah, I have that in like two weeks and I really, really have to study for that. Then I'm gone for three days um, for the next three or four days. I have to work on my bid that takes anywhere. We get five days to do it. If that tells you how long it takes to kind of arrange your schedule and I have to do the schedule around the cruise. So the schedule has to be submitted by April 15th. It opens up on the 10th. And with the cruise coming up, I have to request certain days off and figure out if I don't get those days off, because it's based on seniority, like a first come, first serve. If I don't get those days off, how can I arrange it with my schedule where I'm not penalized or have to call out of work? So, yeah, a lot going on for this month. Uh, I have to try to work as much as I can because, again, I missed two weeks of work in the last month. That's half of my paycheck, half of my income I'm used to having come in. So, yeah, I got to pull back a little bit. Um, you know, I, I do feel like I shop like a billionaire, and I might just have to do the millionaire shopping for the next month, you know. Kind of just be smart about it. I don't want to be reckless about anything in my life. Um, now, what I do want to do, however, is I want to take you guys outside real quick because a lot of you have been requesting to see how the garden looks. So I am going to pause this real quick. I'm going to be back. And although this is a collaboration with Ashton, again, for the umpteenth time, I want you to see the solar lights lit up. So stand by. Where's my glasses? Oh, Lord. Look, where's my glasses? See, I told you guys I'm not used to it. I'll get used to it, though. And I love this. Thank you so much. I'll be back. Can't believe this video is this long. Man, she spoiled me. Spoiled me. Okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, I want to turn off the lights here. So you can 
hopefully get the full effect. Hopefully. So this hot air balloon is not Timo. Although you can look and see if it's on there. So it's supposed to look like there's actually a flame inside and the way it blinks it does look like there's a flame. Now minus the basket is kind of uh, taken away from the full effect. But it's got a little basket in the bottom and I got that for Jay. It is acrylic. I wasn't sure if it was glass. I thought it was glass. I actually thought it was stained glass when I got it. And I know it's hard to see the colors but it's a rainbow color. Look at that. There's my fairy lights. Oh my god, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh. That might be that might be my favorite, you guys. It looks like Tinkerbell is stuck in the mason jar. Like I love the blue and the green and the red and the orange lights in there. How beautiful is that? Oh my god. Yep, I'm getting more of those. And right now I just put it on the shepherd hook just because I wanted it to get that little bit of sun. These are the Snapdragon solar lights that you guys requested to see. Of course, Timu. There's a red, there's a purple. Now down there, that's something else. It's got a butterfly in there. That is not Timu. It's kind of cold out here. Again, there's the uh, other Snapdragon. We got the yellow and the pink. You've seen the watering can before. A lot of people actually hauled that and that is pretty cool too. I like that honestly. I mean the snapdragons are cute but I really like that watering can. Look at the fairy light even from here. Yeah so what I want to do is I think I want to get more of those and put them on the steps, the three steps. And uh, those are just the Timu mushrooms, those are steaks. They got the little steaks and a bunch of them that come through and the flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's eight of the mushrooms. Okay. And again, you got the butterfly inside there. And of course, look at some of my older hauls. There's the hummingbirds. The acrylic hummingbirds. I really like those a lot, too. I, I, I like not just the white or solid colors. I like the mix of colors with the blue, green, lavender. And they are actually changing if you look at it. At least the... Yeah, look at the colors are even changing on it. I didn't even know that. I thought they just stayed blue, but they switched from the blue to the green. And I have no idea what the hell's going on with this strobe light over here. It's like there's a rave in my rose bushes. That one is the other one with the butterfly in it. And I know that strobe might really affect somebody and I don't want to do that. So, it's so dark. But look at that. You can see it from here. Yeah, I really like these solar lights. Just so pretty. And, you know, I'll keep those up through the summer. Maybe the fall until I pull out the Christmas lights. But those are your flowers. Look how bright. They look better than I thought they would. There's the butterflies. The butterflies aren't as bright as the flowers. I mean, and they're pretty in the day, even when they're not lit up. But yeah, the flowers, as you can see, are pretty, pretty bright. And of course, over the wall, you can't see, but... You know, it's uh, off the road and there's a sidewalk. So people, you know, walk around the community and walk past our neighborhood and they'll see my solar lights lit up. So it does offer a little bit of light. And there you have it. I figured, wouldn't it take long to show this? I'm already invested in this video, this collab. I really realistically thought that this video would take maybe 45 minutes. But... No, did not, because my friend spoiled me. One little special thank you to Ashton. I love you, girl. Love you to pieces. And this was a great collab yet again, as was the uh, one I did with Cindy Reviews for you. And I'm sure the one I'm doing with Donna coming up in the next few weeks is going to be just as amazing. But you know me. Like, 
Cindy did really well too. Don't get me wrong. She got like a lot of the farmstead stuff, but like this was like really personal order to me. Touch my heart. I love you. I am going to go take a shower and wash my greasy hair <laughs> and relax. And I will probably sleep for the next three days because again, what I say, I had eight and a half hours of sleep in the last two days. Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Be safe. Take care of each other and be kind above all else. Love this ring. I, you know what? Sorry. I, I can't pick a favorite in this. I really like the badass t-shirt. That's definitely a fave. But I love the keychains too. Like the little chapstick holder. This ring is a fidgety with my ADHD. This is great because, you know, is it's been brought to my attention. You guys sometimes can see me shake in and it could be the medications or just having like an episode where I get manic. So uh, this... Fidget ring? I love it. Thank you again so much. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Crazy. Wait a minute. What the hell? Ugh. You guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm still recording. Ugh.